Hi, my name's Irene Diamond and I'm here interviewing my dad once again on his expertise in human sexuality. So dad, the million dollar question everybody wants to know, nature versus nurture. What do you have to say? Well, it's a million dollar question because it's not a simple answer. And uh, I mean, I have my bias, but that bias comes from years of study. And I think it's much, it depends on what trait we're talking about. There's not one trait that goes along with masculinity or femininity. There are many traits. So it depends which one we really ask about. I mean, if you ask about the language you use, then we have to say, well, it's very much social. Right. You see, but we, if you ask about certain behavior patterns, how you do, uh, are you more attracted toward males or females or something like that, then it has a different answer. So uh, those are the seminal questions which make a difference of whether you say, well, that's nature and nurture. But we now use the, we now consider that most traits have a little of both. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand, I mean, were I homosexual, for example, and I lived in Iran, where I might be hung because of your sexuality, of my sexuality, then all of a sudden I don't demonstrate it the right. same way I might in San Francisco or America or New York. Right, right. So when it comes to sexual uh, preference or behavior, mm -hmm. when when someone says, "Well, you're gay and it's a choice," and you can choose whether to be gay or not, how do you? Re to that? What do you what do you say? Well, I have several answers to go with that. First of all, I think that for most individuals, you know, if you ask somebody, "Are you a smoker?" and they can say, "Well, yeah, I smoke once a week, right, they once have a, choice. a month." Well, no, but they're different. There are some that are a pack a day smokers who don't have a choice because it's an addiction. No longer. That's right. But the person who says, "Yeah, I smoke once a month." It's very different. Well, it's the same thing with being gay or something like that, if you want to call it. Gay is really a behavior pattern. It, 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 so somebody can say, well, normally I prefer women, but once in a while I, I go with a guy. Mm -hmm. There are people like that. And Kinsey developed a scale, which, he called, which we now know of as the Kinsey scale, which goes zero to six. Now zero means that all of your subject, all of your partners are always heterosexual. Mm -hmm. And if you're a six, then all of your partners are always homosexual. Mm -hmm. But there are people who say, well, I'll give it a try, or I'll do this, or I'll do that. Right. Well, that person who says, I can give it a try, they can change more easily than the person who says, why would I want to go with a guy? Right, you know, it's just something they wouldn't even consider. That's right. Right. So that that's not a simple answer. So for the educators or the church or people who who are <coughs> suggesting that a person has that choice, that's not always the case. That's seldom the case. So more often than not, people who identify as gay are at the sixth level. Yeah, because somebody who says is willing to come out. That's a difficult situation. At least in this country, for sure. In most countries. Yeah. I mean, even countries that are relatively tolerant, yes, they'll accept people who are different. But there's always there's somewhat there's of still a stigma. stigma. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Stigma and shame. And unfortunately, they go together with sex a lot. And there are people, particularly in the United States, who are very concerned with sex, either for good or bad, you know. I mean, they think about it as something that ought to be controlled, you know. It's, it's, it's an evil drive that you have to control. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Milton Diamond, the University of Hawaii School of Medicine, John A. Burns School of Medicine. Um, if you're interested in things I have to say or interested in the things I've written about, I have a website you can check out. It's under the Pacific Center for Sex and Society. And if you'd like to keep in touch or you'd like me to let you know 
if I'll be speaking in your area or writing things you may be interested in, drop me a line and fill out this form that's associated with this and we can keep in touch. Thank you.